This isn't gonna work. We play a lot of Nerf around this office. We have almost every type of Nerf gun you can think of. However, I've never seen a Nerf sniper rifle that actually acts as a sniper rifle. I want to build, from scratch, the most powerful and accurate Nerf sniper rifle. I just want to see what it takes. So one of my goals going into this build is not just to make a gun that can shoot a Nerf dart really fast. No, I want to shoot a Nerf dart with style. So instead of modding an existing Nerf gun out there, I decided to build my Nerf gun from scratch. And how I'm gonna do that is pneumatic air pressure. I scoured a lot of different tutorials because I'd never built a pneumatic cannon before. I found this channel called Top City Gear. He builds this pneumatic air cannon. He had one awesome, no two awesome design elements that he incorporated. And this was the idea of taking an old drill, like just a power drill, and using that as a trigger mechanism to release the air. Now he accomplished that by hooking up the power from the trigger into a sprinkler valve. So when you pull the trigger, theoretically, the sprinkler valve releases the air. And I'm gonna use that technique in this build because I want this to feel like a gun when you shoot it. I don't want it to be like some janky thing where you have to pull a lever and like. So having a trigger is crucial to having an accurate gun here. I've drawn out the actual PVC and pneumatic build system. That's all the functional parts. And then in blue, I've highlighted the aesthetic parts made of wood and other rifle parts, all that stuff that will be added on top of that to kind of give the gun a sniper rifle feel. The Nerf dart's slightly smaller than the actual PVC pipe, so I'm not sure if the air is gonna flow around that rather than propel the dart. I'm hunting for wrens, and I think I see one. <laughs> what the hell, man? What is it? <laughs> that was so close to my ear. Wait, I think this is really gonna work if we have some pneumatic air behind us. Went to Home Depot, got all the PVC parts that I needed, and then it was just a matter of kind of fitting them together. Basically right now what I have to do is put the basic assembly of the gun together, so I'm not gonna glue anything together quite yet, I'm just gonna cut it, piece them together, that's the great thing about working with PVC, and then I can see kind of how big it is, how it's gonna feel. Before I get started, I just... Can I help you? This isn't gonna work. <laughs> this, I've... I've made a millions of these before, these, you know, silly airsoft guns, and, you know, I know how these things work, but the way you're building it, that's, it's never gonna work, I'm sorry. Maybe I'd do a little bit more research and, you know, <laughs> back to the drawing board and whatnot. Are you getting this? Because I know Are science. I'm a science guy. Hmm. To be frank, there's a lot of reasons. I don't think Nick is really up to the task of uh, building a gun, but I think the most important one is that he's just not really the brightest guy, and he's got a lot of strengths. Um, it's just, you know, I haven't found any of them yet, but he's definitely not, intelligence is, is not one of them. Let's say that. If you're so confident it's not gonna work, then once I finish building it, you can stand in front of it. Fine, I don't care. I mean, sure, you have nothing to worry about, right? It's not gonna work. Is that allowed? I'm technically not gonna shoot you because- you well, Yeah, I, yeah, I know, it's not gonna work. So, that's a deal then. Yeah, I, sure, are you recording this, by the way? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Uh, yeah, that's a deal. Cool. Shake on it, man. man. Love sh I love shaking hands. Okay. Alright, so I cut down the air tank. Let's see how it feels once I kind of pop it together here. The drill's not here yet, but the drill will clamp right here. It's still a little bit long. I can cut it shorter because technically this whole thing is all the air tank. So there's gonna be pressurized air stored in this whole area here, and it's only gonna be released at this valve point right here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it down a little bit more actually. I did a second cut down of the air tank. Feels pretty good. That should work. Yo, we have incoming? We have incoming. What's going on? Whenever Andrew Allen comes over, he tries to uh, assault the compound. We got armaments and we got skilled tactical soldiers, so it's gonna be a fight. I wish I had some sort of device, some weapon to accurately shoot Andrew with. Some know. really accurate long range yeah. rifle. Actually, Ren was on his phone, and that's the reason I believe he might be here right now. Last time Andrew Allen's come over, Ren has been his cohort who's given him information from the inside. He's a double agent, we all know it. If it ain't Renedict Arnold himself. Dude, I'm grabbing a gun! So have you been Yeah, who are you shooting with that gun? I'm gonna shoot you, Carl. Let me go take ah. the shot, man. You think we go- Oh! 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 I get a free shot. You'll never take me alive! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I was aiming for the camera. How to go under the camera then up at his head? You well, might think I'm we sorry. take Nerf too seriously, but we also make a living out of making cool videos with Nerf guns in them, so you know, it all works out. So now that the drill's arrived, I can actually make sure everything's going to fit. Taking out the motor, disconnecting the wires, and then attaching those wires to the sprinkler valve. That How do we not have any Phillips head screwdrivers? Why are all these screws uh, hex know, heads? Dude, yeah, they're all weird. I mean, you could use this. This would work. It's a flathead screwdriver, but that'll work. We're gonna rip everything out, including the motor. We're gonna figure out which wires connect to the motor and then reroute those to this valve here. Yeah, a successful test is that this opens up. It'll just click. Okay. If it's not successful, we just won't hear anything. Ready? Mm-hmm. Uh. That's it. It's opening. Is it? I believe so. Ah, God, I just stabbed my thumb. Ben just made himself bleed again. You got a boo boo! Now, should be able to go right, yes, right there. <laughs> Ooh, and then I literally just screw it on. I can actually shorten this too. I'm trying to make this middle part here as compact as I can because I don't want the gun to be like, Ugh! I want you to actually be able to hold it like a real rifle and have it be comfortable. It's coming together, man. I was scared that wasn't gonna work. All right, so now that I have all the pieces together here, the physical pieces, it's time to actually prime and cement everything together with some PVC primer and PVC cement. Before I take it apart, I'm gonna label each part how it connects together. I don't want there to be any mistakes because once it's cemented together, it's actually going to melt the plastic and there's no going back from there. So I can't fuck up. So PVC is like really smooth and that doesn't really take well to binding agents. So what this primer is actually gonna do is on a very microscopic level, turn this smooth PVC plastic into a rough surface that is better for binding things together. So it took me a little bit, but I got everything cemented together and now it's looking like I have a real pneumatic air cannon and I'm super excited. So I'm gonna put the drill on, I'm gonna wire it up and then I'm gonna do my first test, actually shooting it to make sure it works. All right. All right, all right, all right. If you noticed that there was a C and a D on here, then, okay, you're a super fan. <sighs> you did it. You cracked the code. Tried to bamboozle you, and you saw right through it. <laughs> no, there's no bamboozles. No bamboozles, I promise. Okay, let's, let's, let's turn back the clock here. A few days ago, I said there wasn't a logo. This was an unbranded hat. It's technically correct. It's not a logo. If you do think this is a cool design, hat's still on sale for two more days. Head over to quarterdigital.com slash store and pick one up for yourself. It also comes in black and green, which I think is even cooler. If this doesn't work, then I have to start over or just scrap the project. I can't take it apart. There should be some air in here. Yeah. You got me on this one, Dobie. Go ahead and try it, ready? <laughs> I did it! Dude, it works. Okay. That's like a huge weight off my shoulders because now I can go to the fun part, which is the aesthetic stage of this build. The stock, the wood furniture, the scope, the muzzle brake, all that stuff. Now for these things, I found bits and pieces around the studio. We also have a boneyard of airsoft gun parts that I kind of picked through. And then I'm going to take some side paneling from an old Nerf gun we have and kind of put that over the piping so it doesn't quite look like I'm holding a bunch of plumbing pipe. I think it'll be really fun kind of doing some sort of physical kit bash here to make this look like a cool piece of weaponry. All right, so the kit bash is going along pretty well. This thing's looking pretty freaking sweet. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of like adding more parts to it and kind of fleshing the gun out. Yeah, here you go, man. It's all here. Thanks, man. Hey, Danny, you ready to test this out once I paint it? I mean, he's he's basically just glued together a bunch of Nerf parts to try to make something that looks cool, but I don't think there's actually any like functionality to it. What is that? The jank is pretty strong with this one, but I think it looks pretty freaking sweet. So how do you think the guys are going to react? I think they're going to be like, you went too far. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> Dude, that, that is freaking sweet. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! <laughs> Damn, son. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the gun worked. What? It worked? He, sh he already tested it? The his gun worked? I'm just gonna go get. I'm just gonna. Dang. 
What? Oh, dude. <laughs> What's up, man? Why, why are you in here? Can I just see the camera real quick? I just want to see. I just want to look at the footage really closely. Can you just give me the camera? I just, I just. Okay. You don't have to do the whole shooting thing. It's a pretty dumb bit anyway. All right, it's okay. I just, I just want to see the footage. That's all. Look, if me and you both say that the deal never happened, maybe we can convince Nick. He's not very smart. We can probably just convince him that he made up the memory. All right. That's yes. pretty sweet. I'm glad it's not lethal. Okay, so this thing's looking pretty dang cool right now. I'm gonna go paint it up now, and then it's time to actually fire the thing. I think if it were up to me, I would hit the door, and then drop back to the loading dock door. Make sure I come in undetected. I'd get at least three people before they saw oh. me and took the Oh, you got movement on the outside. Ah, oh, I saw somebody move. I saw somebody that I thought had a gun move. All right, Jake says it's clear up front. I, I'm pretty sure I saw somebody with a gun walking around over there. The key to surviving a Nerf ambush is to remain calm. What was that? Nika! What? Be careful, man. You see anything? It's quiet. Oh, too quiet. It's got jam! Move it, move it! No, Nika! Yeah. You were a great guard. <laughs> Apparently not that great. Does that mean he came through the door that was already locked? That means... This had been opened from the inside. Uh, Alright, the gun build is complete. It is Monday today. On Friday I was supposed to test this gun, but for some reason Danny was sick. He didn't come into work. He seems fine today. He's here. I'm gonna test this gun out, and Danny is gonna be in front of the barrel as the target. This real quick. Yeah, dude. This here. is like this is the. I'm like I've said before. I'm not really big on guns, but come on, this is so cool. Put it, <laughs> look on the scope. I'm just not sure if it's actually gonna be accurate and powerful. Time to test fire. What? What you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? What is that? Is that an Iron Man costume? And, uh, oh, is it? <laughs> I don't know. It's just I didn't know they were shooting a video with that. Uh... This is the gun, man. It's done. That's the gun you made? Yeah, it's the one you said I couldn't make, remember? Because I'm stupid. I don't think I said that. Carmichael, did I say that? Yeah. You just meet me back there, okay? Okay, yeah. I'll Sweet. be down in one second. Right. No armor? Yeah. Okay, well, would you just leave me alone for a second up here? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm a man of my word. Yeah, man. Cool. Yeah, I'll be down in a second. Yeah, I think it's all gonna go pretty well all right, today. Guys, let's do this. I'm ready to go. I'll go stand over there far away. I just got my new sunglasses. You've been working out, bro? Yeah, a lot actually. Thanks. Is it? Can you tell? That's why I wear this hoodie. This gets. Cool. It really just shows off my physique. So, I'd say there's about point zero three percent chance that it'll work. I'd say those are good odds, man. Okay, all right, Danny. Let me know when you're rolling. Rolling. Three, two, one. <laughs> Danny, you okay? <laughs> it worked. It worked. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Let's try Dude, again. you nailed him like right in the gut. Just like, yeah, I got it. I'd say that's a, a success right there. <laughs> <laughs> tradition on the San Juanico channel, if you make something that shoots, you have to be shot by it. Nick, your turn. Can't wow. Be, can't be too safe, man. Wow. <laughs> I need a power cell! <laughs> Rolling. Just do it! No, oh, you're so close! <laughs> do it! Alright, ready? Three, two, one! Oh, you alright dude? Oh, that hurt. Yeah? 
That's a, I nope. believe it. That took the wind out of me, dude. Yeah, I could tell you were like a little breathless at first. It was very satisfying. <laughs> Just, I, I, I pulled the trigger and it shot out. There was no recoil. Well, it looked true from my perspective. Yeah, I mean, it <laughs> went where I was aiming. Hey, I know hard feelings about that, right? 